Yeah, Jedediah, just out here trying to get it, man. By any means necessary, you feel me? Yeah, let's go. 24 7 hard work and dedication. 24 7 hard work. Yo, what's good, everybody? My name is Jedediah, and this is the Jedediah Podcast. Today, we have a special guest in the building, the one and only Generator Baby. Yes, sir. It's going down, man. What's up? What's Glad going on, man? How you feeling? Glad to be here with you, baby. I feel good. Yeah, man, you feel good? You looking good, man? I saw you uh, at the show the other day, man, wrecked it. Yeah, yeah. With that, what was that song called? The Yeah, Yeah? It's called Yeah, Yeah, man. <laughs> and we really got, man, that, that song is kind of controversial right now. We got three names, mm-hmm. Jump Down, Stump Down, and Yeah, Yeah. We don't know what it's called. <laughs> is that out? It's not out yet, man. So okay. The, so we haven't even came up with an uh, official date for the tape yet. Okay. Uh, we just, uh, we working on, we, 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 we're actually in negotiation with distribution right now. Okay. So we got some people that's finna distribute us, man, and, and jump behind us all the way. So mm-hmm. we'll know we'll have a date next week. Okay. Yeah, man, I was looking for that song. Uh, I was on YouTube trying to look for it. I was like, yeah. man, because yeah. it just, it stuck in my head. It got yeah. stuck in my head, and I was yeah. like, man, I got to hear it again. Yeah, yeah I appreciate you. I appreciate yeah. You. That was that was actually the goal when I was writing it, too, man. Mm-hmm. Wanted something catchy, something melodic, something that, yeah. something that everybody would want to repeat, man, because I always said I wanted a song that everybody was word for word. You know what I'm talking about? Right, right, yeah, just have one. <laughs> Have that one that sticks. That's it. Yeah, and so is that is that the one that you plan on pushing more so than like the rest, or because yeah. I feel like that that has potential to uh you know like it's kind of like sounds like something you hear on the radio, most man. Most definitely, most definitely, most definitely. Yeah. Man, and with the tape, man, we got we got fourteen tracks on the tape. Okay. Um, we've uh, we we had our listening party about three weeks ago. Mm. Man, I think we probably got about seven or eight singles on the tape. Oh, no lie. Okay. Okay. No lie, man. Yeah. For real for real. The music is different. We ain't sounding like everybody else. We in our own lane. Mm-hmm. We got our own production team. So the production is not like it's like it's not like nothing else that's out here. You know okay. what I'm saying? So we got our own sound pretty much right now. Wow, wow, very exciting, man. And when do you plan on uh, putting out this uh, this tape? Man, at least by the if God said the same before by the end of March. Okay, by the end of by March. The, by the end, by the end of March, man. You know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. we might, we may, we may drop a single before then. Mm-hmm. But the tape probably drop by the That's end. That's usually what a lot of people do, right? They'll yeah. put out a single or yeah. two before the the release. Yeah. yeah. So, right, go ahead. So, uh, so before the tape even came about, man, we had um, we dropped a song called Re Up. That's okay. on YouTube. You can find it on YouTube. Okay. We dropped Re Up on YouTube, and we also shot a visual for another song that's on the tape called Pain. Mm-hmm. You can find it on YouTube, too, at Black Label Embassy uh, YouTube. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, and so that was before the, the tape. You guys had that? Yeah, man, we was kind of, we, we really didn't know where we was going, man, because mm-hmm. uh, a few years ago we started off, we had an artist named CB24, mm-hmm. and uh, that's what we were pushing, man. So I was I was never really even on the artist side. Mm-hmm. I was just kind of on the executive side, you know what I'm saying? Behind the uh, scenes. Behind the scenes, I wanted to push somebody, put a bag behind somebody, man, and that was my guy that I chose. And, mm-hmm. and uh, uh, he had a lot going on, man, and he, he's he grinding. He got his own stuff going on. He's working. He got a baby, man. Congratulations. What's his name? Sippy24, man. Y'all look out for him because I'm pretty sure he's going to come back. Sippy24? Sippy24, man. He got okay. a song called A Dumb Way with OTB Fastlane. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? So uh, we was doing that for a while, man. And then, you know, uh, uh, life kind of took it. Life, life, life took toll. Yeah. So uh, he he's doing his thing right now. He's working. He's got a, he's got a, a handsome little boy right now, man. Mm-hmm. Taking his business. Oh, so okay. I'm proud of him, man. But 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 I got the label on my back, man. Yeah. Big letters all caps. You know what I'm saying? It's, now it's on you. It's on me, man. It's actually me, uh, AB Tron, <clears throat> and um, Charlito. Trollito. Trollito, you know what I'm saying? Okay, and so you guys are, they are these are all, all artists that you're naming? These are all artists that's under uh, BLE. BLE, and what yeah. does BLE stand for? Black Label Embassy Entertainment, man, you know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. that's the CEO. That's, mm. that's, that's, I'm her artist, I work for her right now. <laughs> that's the boss man? That's the boss man, that's the boss man. <laughs> yeah. That's the boss man right there, man, for real. I got you, man. And how long has this uh, BLE, how long, how long have you guys been around? About four years. Four years. About, about three or four years. Okay. You know, uh, within the process, man, of us uh, getting our building, man, we, we started off in a room. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, her dad, man, Ernie, he built me a booth, man, and it was a <laughs> Okay. And, and, my, and my bro, Bull, he gave me he gave me some equipment, and we just started in a room, and we was working on my boy Slow Life. Slow Life, hey, shout out Slow Life. Yeah. Slow Life was doing all our beats. Uh-huh. He was doing everything, man. So um, I kind of wanted to get out the room, and I started rocking with uh 
anchor life, I put myself in a room with them, and then mm-hmm. I just want I just wanted my own thing, man. You know what I'm saying? I was like, I need my own space, mm-hmm. on building like the foundation. So me, her, and Bull, we used to always talk about the foundation. Mm-hmm. So we got a building, and you know what I'm saying? That's how the Black Label, that's how BLE Studios came about. Yeah, yeah. Now, now y'all got a headquarters. Oh, we got a headquarters, man. You want yeah. if you want, if you want to come over there, you got we got interview space like this, man. We got mm. we got podcasts, we got we got dance space, we got rehearsal space in wow. two studios. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Look uh, official, professional. Almost definitely, hundred percent. That's what's up, man. That's the way to do it. Okay, and uh, in this project that you're working on, do you is it just going to be solely you on on these songs, or do you have any like features? Um, so the, so the features that I do got are basically like the artists that's always been around me. Okay. Um, we got a uh, we got a uh, we got AB Tron. Mm-hmm. Oh, I forgot to mention Benji. We got Benji. That's my niece. She uh, she also an artist. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So. <clears throat> um, we got Benji on there. We got uh, Cash. Who else? Who else we got on there? I really think. Oh, it was who? No, I'm really. I think we only got like two or three features, man. Uh, right. Okay. And uh, and uh, we got, oh, we got Bob's and we got Young Bryce out of Austin. We got Bad Bob's on a song and we got Bryce out of Austin. So man, I'm just uh, we waiting. But like I said, the whole project is is done. Yeah, the entire project is done. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah okay. What about uh, like visuals? Because I I I'd, I'd like to see one of that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Is that's that a, coming that's, soon? That's 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 in the works right now. Man. Okay. I got a. I actually got to go holler at my boy. I, I dep- paid the deposit already. Mm. I got to go holler at my boy for the uh, for the uh, the treatment. Okay. So uh, Monique's gonna kind of executive produce it. Mm-hmm. My wife, she kind of she she kind of got a big visual for it. But the song is a true story. You know what I'm saying? Right. So. Uh, uh, my cousin, man, he had he got in some trouble a while ago. Okay, and uh, it was it was said that the guy that the guy that the situation had happened to that it was the wrong guy. You know what I'm saying? But you'll never mm. forget, if somebody shoots you, you'll never forget who shot you. you know oh what I'm shit! Saying? Okay, so I re- and my cousin ended up getting forty five years behind that shit. So I always so I always mm. talk to my cousin to this day. We politic on the phone all the time, man. And, He's in good spirits, man, and he ain't fucked up about nothing. But, mm-hmm. you know, I kind of wanted to tell that story. And then I got another little cousin that's kind of, he went a different route, man. He got some shit going on in his life. And I just kind of talk about him and I talk about my homeboy, Bhutan. Like, everything mm-hmm. in that song is real. Miss Judy, she a real person. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? She got heart problems. Wow. She went through some shit. That's like mama. Like, she was always there for me and my wife in the beginning. Mm-hmm. Like, she, like, she had $2 worth of gas in her car, nigga. She's going to fucking come get up and take her <laughs> to go make groceries. <laughs> like, I swear to God. Like, yeah. Man, so, man, everything I talk about in this song is real, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I even speak of the George Floyd situation because I speak of that situation because I, I, I feel like that situation could have been different. Mm-hmm. Um, I think the phones got us fucked up. I think we we should put put the phones down sometimes. And and, and I think it should have been some touch in that day. I think yeah. somebody should have pushed their fucking law. That's just how I feel. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, but oh, are you okay? So you're referring to the like the the uh, the incident the where incident, most definitely because man, I've been in a situation with uh, with p- police brutality. Okay, I was beat up too. I'm from Goodson. Yeah. Hey. I'm from Goodson. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So Let me turn it off. Now you go, yeah, for sure. So uh, I was in a position like that, man, and uh, the laws came in my hood. The marks, we call them narks, undercovers, Mm -hmm. and we ran, man. And uh, me and my me and my boy Vinny Crack, shout out Vinny Crack, and uh, man, I got I fucked around and got caught, and they beat the shit out of me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And uh, man, they beat the brakes off of me. It wasn't camera phones and this shit. I was a little little back in the day. It was back in the day. It was probably like '99 and 2000. Yeah, by 2000, man, and I I went to jail and came home ugly as hell. I had seven stitches in my chin, man. I had ten stitches in my head. I had five stitches in my lip, man, and. So I'm very passionate about police brutality. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When I get pulled over, it's yes sir, no sir type shit. Like yeah. I don't want no trouble. Hands on the steering Hands wheel. Hands on the steering wheel. Like yeah. you know, for real. And I ain't to give you no back talk, even if I feel like I'm right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But so I just feel like um, a lot more could happen with that situation, man. Mm-hmm. And um, and I speak on that, man. And I, I really talk about the cops and training because I feel like they just need some better training, man. And yeah. they got to get that shit in check. But I, I never speak down on the cops because I feel like that balance is needed. Because if we ain't had that balance, this bitch would be wild, wild west for real, for even though it is. Because, you know, Ace Time, we, we the murder capital right now, man. So, but, but you know, it, it needs to be some balance with police training, man, for real. We're the we're the murder capital at the uh, right now. Right now we lead murders, man. Houston is it's fucked up, but we is. Wow. Shout out Happy Boots. Shout out Three Six. I knew it was getting like a little. I knew it was the, I knew it was the crime was going up. But oh, I didn't yeah. know we were like number one. We man. number one, bro. Wow. 
We're number one. That's crazy. Yeah, and I, I mean, you do, um, you know, you're, you're hearing. I heard some, some. Uh, it was this girl that got shot. Um, which, which incident you referring to? Uh, just re- uh, recently, Come she up, in the car the, or at something the, at the bank. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah a stray yeah, hit. Yeah. A stray bullet hit her. Yeah, I don't think that. I don't think that our buddy tried to. He ain't tried to. He, he ain't tried to shoot him. Yeah. But, that's another thing, man. We got to be aware of our surroundings at all times. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, no, for sure. And back to the cop thing, man. Like, I, I agree. Like, there are, I think there are good cops out there. A lot of them. But, you know, but like, with anything, you know, there, there are rotten apples. Most you know definitely. what I'm saying? And, and uh, yeah, it's just, it's 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 a very touchy subject. And, and you know, a, a lot of people, you know, when they, when they, when these kind of stories come up, you know they'll you know they'll they'll kind of like generalize you know yeah. what I'm saying I think it's important for us to like you know understand like there are good cops as well most definitely man that's why that's why I said in the in the song I just said they need to get that shit in check like yeah like um I, mean, I got people in my in my family that's cops I got one of my good friends that I that I went to school with that I went to high school with you know what I'm saying I ain't gonna say his name but it's one of my boys and mm-hmm. he's a cop and he's a damn good one you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. and um he gives back to the community he's He's always participating in shit, but you know, um, man, it's just it's just the ones that went through something in their life. They yeah. need to get it in check. They need to they need to go sit down and talk to a psychiatrist, man. And before, but like in the initial evaluation, they need to kind of recognize that, man, because a lot of this shit can be prevented. And mm-hmm. at the same time, man, you know, during our situation, uh, doing us getting pulled over, we can also handle it a little better too. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. No, I agree. Um, okay, man, and. So you got this project coming out, uh, the latest uh, at, called, at the end of March. Called, it's called Generator Baby. Generator Baby. Okay, yeah. okay, and that's that's actually what you go by, right? That's actually my name. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, what, how did you come up with that? So man, it's uh like when you like I'm from Goodson, right? I'm from the townhouses, the T's. Uh, so when you come in, when you come like when you come in my hood <clears throat> for so long, it was just one way in, mm-hmm. and our section in the section where we out hustled and grinded and pumped that. When you come in. And before you go around that curve, like to the left, mm-hmm. it's like a field right here. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. we used to always, always hustle in that field. But we shot dice by that motherfucking yeah. generator. <laughs> we had squabbles by that bitch. We stayed out all night, like uh-huh. n- man, right by this generator. So if you go back and look at a lot of pictures, a lot of people from my hood just popping and taking pictures. We by the generator. By you know the generator, saying? yeah. So I always just said we generator babies. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And everybody in any any project can relate to that. Yeah. Because it's a generator every motherfucking <laughs> world. That niggas post up on they sit by that bitch. They hit licks all day. They get money, lose money, whatever. You yeah. know what I'm saying? By that generator, man. So we generator babies. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's neat. Yeah, I like that. And so okay, so like growing up in that area, man. Like, what was your upbringing like? Man, to be honest, I was raised by I was raised by a few different people, man. I was raised by my mm-hmm. mama, more importantly, man. I was also raised by my dad, my granny, and my auntie, man. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, okay. Um, so uh, my my dad came home, and this before I even moved to Goodson, we was in elementary school, like the first grade. Mm-hmm. My dad came home, and a couple of days later, man, my mama was arrested. You know what I'm saying? She was arrested for uh, welfare fraud or something like that. Oh. And um, so my dad had he did five years in prison. He came home and he was probably he was probably home like three days. Mm-hmm. And the federal marshals, the U.S. marshals, came to my house along with the rent lady of the apartments, and they evicted us and took my mama to jail. So we had nowhere to go Dang. immediately, and it was just me and my sister because my big brother was already my big brother was already with my grandmother, and my other brother was already with my grandfather in the heights. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? We 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 went from having a place to stay, from getting our daddy back to having both our parents again to losing it all right mm-hmm. there. You know what I'm saying? So we ended. How old were you at the time, by the way? I want to say I was like seven, seven, okay. seven or eight. You know what I'm saying? I, and, and and I remember, man, my mama just going in the room to to kind of hit the hit the dope one more time, like in the cop scene or like through the door type shit. And we looked and we was like, you know, what I'm saying it was kind of fucked up, but like two kids going through that, mm-hmm. and then we end up chasing the police car. That you know, back in the days, like the the laws, they, they cars were like the. The white box Chevys, the Caprices, yeah, like the federal marshal cars, yeah. and we ended up chasing it all the way out the apartments when they took my mama. Yeah. But um, we went to the payphone after that, and we uh we called my grandma, and my grandma, and my grandfather came to pick us up. Wow! So they took both of your parents? They just took my. They Did just, your mom? Okay, they okay. just took my mama. But you gotta understand, my daddy was home for like two or three days. He didn't even have a job. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. He the only the only money he had was his gate money. Damn. And if anybody ever been to the penitentiary, they know what I mean when I'm talking about that gate money. 
yeah. that two hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's all he had. You know what I'm saying? And that was that was all that nigga had. So my grandmother, my grandfather came to pick us up. My dad, my aunt Shirley allowed my dad to live with her, and we live with my grandma. And oh. that's when that's that's that was like. We was already we was already on Goodson because yeah. my, my my auntie and my dad and my grandma was over there, but me and my sister wasn't over there. Mm-hmm. We were just visiting summertime and all that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then that's when we moved over there. That's when we was like, that's when we was like, just yeah, it's going down. You know what okay, I'm saying? Okay, and that's kind of where you like the like, like you lived for the majority for the majority of my life. You know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah. So we okay. end up we end up doing that and uh. Going over there, me and my sister stayed in Harris's place apartments. Mm-hmm. That's like kind of connected to the townhouses, like the back of the townhouses. Right, kind of close to my nigga Vinny Crack shit, and we stayed over there, man. And uh, you know, we just that's that's what we was for a while. I went to elementary, intermediate, middle school. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay, for sure. And um, like, how is your how is your mom now? Was uh, my so my mom passed in 2016. Okay, okay. Uh, so my mom, yeah, my mom, man, Miss man, I miss my mama, man. Uh, mm-hmm. So I kind of that's that was like one of the reasons for me to like get on the executive side mm. because my mom was like she always believed in me musically she I, she was she was like the mama that would call you like hey baby BT got a show uh, they they got a contest you need to you need to get the contest <laughs> and I'm like man fuck that shit mama you know what I'm saying I'm hustling and yeah. shit I don't give a fuck about no show you know what I'm saying and I just really wanted to freestyle all the time but she uh. always believed in in me musically man you know what I'm saying but um. We lost my mama, man. She had, uh, she was on she was a renal patient. Mm. You know, so the, um, I'm not gonna say kidney failure. That's not what killed my mama. But some some uh, uh, some some things that came with being a renal patient is what is reno. Is, reno is reno is when you uh, dialysis when you're a kidney patient when you when you, oh, when you go into dialysis and shit. Some related to the kidneys. Yeah, okay. Some related to the kidneys. R e n a l reno. Okay. 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 So. Um, so uh um yeah man around that time and that was like 2016 mm. you know what I'm saying and uh man we lost my mama man and, and 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 my brother came back home to the city and and we just we just we just thugged it out man but my wife she the one got us through that shit because we mm. that was like like I'm I'm mama's baby you know what I'm saying yeah. I tried to commit suicide like four or five times on the way to the hospital when my mama died and God just wouldn't he wouldn't let me do it oh man you know what I'm saying I told the whole hospital up and the the, the the they ain't even fuck with me like the security guard was just like. Leave him alone, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But he had to get he had to get the anger and shit out the way. But once I made peace with it that night, I was able to go in there and look at my mama and talk to my mama. And since then, like I made my mama some promises. The only thing that I kind of felt like I'm feeling her on is like being healthy. Like I, mm-hmm. I be in the street so much and grinding and working so much. I be eating so much fast food and bullshit. Yeah. But I've I've upho- I've upheld everything else I said I was gonna do as far as mm-hmm. taking care of my family, making sure I'm good, being being a good husband, being faithful to. To what I believe in, you know yeah. what I'm saying, and being there for everybody. But I gotta get healthy, and I gotta lose this weight. <laughs> I got you, man. I got you. And uh, okay, yeah, man. I could, I couldn't imagine something like that. I could, you know, going through something like that, man. Uh, but uh, yeah. yeah. So okay, and, and as, as far as the music, like, when did you start getting into? Like, when did you start getting serious about it? And because I know you say you you were always you would always be freestyling, but when did you like get serious about it? Um. <clears throat> Ray went Ray went Man I want to say like <clears throat> About two years ago Two years ago Two okay. years ago So 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 At first it was 100 proof At first it was like Kick the records Like back in the Back in the day type shit mm-hmm. Then it was like That shit had It was like a fad That shit passed You know what I'm saying Got into some trouble Was going through the ringers Or whatever And then I used to just Kind of freestyle At the clubs and shit Like with Switcher House Going there and just jump on the mic and freestyle with them yeah. and shit. You know what I'm saying? Freestyle with J Dog them and shit. And then I started doing a hundred proof. Like my partner them started a label in um oh nine. Okay. And I started doing that, right? It was cool, but when I and we was popping, I ever I even won uh the next big thing for B E T. Oh where I was one of the ones. It was like twenty four people that kinda won. Okay, but I was okay. one of the ones, one of the winners in Houston at the time. And so I ended up going to state jail. I get locked up. And when I came home, it wasn't really no more momentum. Like oh. Everybody had kind of started living their life. They kind of fell back. So I ended up fucking with my partner, Bad Vibes. From, and we started, me, me B- Bad Vibes, and Raw, we started this shit called Next Up ENT. R.I.P. my nigga E, man. I love you, boy. Mm-hmm. We started this shit called uh, Next Up ENT. And I was still kind of like Mr. Molly Head. I used to love popping that Molly and shit. <laughs> Damn. And so, and so I wouldn't really never, and I used to like hustling. I was, I was just addicted to getting money, man. Right. So, I would never take it seriously, and my boy, and my boy Vibes would always tell me, like, nigga, you ain't got no music. We mm-hmm. on a regular label, nigga. Everybody got music, and you ain't got shit. Like, I, I had one song, bro. Yeah. And it was always embarrassing, like, to kind of go around, 
Like, we did a song with Kiki, and they was playing their music for Kiki, bro, and I ain't had shit to play for Kiki. Oh. So I was like, damn, damn, damn. So long story short, I was like, fuck it, man. After that, I was like, fuck it, I'm going to start my own shit. Mm -hmm. So I started my own shit, Dolo, and I ain't got sippy because I felt like, I want to say I was making excuses, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, now that I think about it, I think I was making excuses to not rap. Right. I was like, fuck it, I got some money, I'll just get behind a little nigga, mm -hmm. find me a little nigga with some talent, and i just take him all the way, you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. I ever feel, I, I always feel like I can break a nigga. Like, like I can, a manager. I can, I can yeah, kind of like a manager, whatever, I feel like I can break him. Yeah. I know I, I know how to break him, because I've been in the game so long, and I've been around it, mm -hmm. and you know, like, so many niggas, like, the Slims, the Piles, like, I was... I was I seen them niggas pop off. I was I, I'm a, I graduated from Eisenhower, nigga. Yeah. So I was at fucking uh TNL, yeah. goddamn on the corners, on Golf Bank. I seen all of this shit happening. So I just kind of felt like if a lot of my partners did it, I can do it and I can break a nigga. So yeah. that's what made me jump behind the artist. But like I said, I think it was just like a a different way I was taking out because I should have been really doing it. And yeah. everybody, all my peers, my wife, my partners, they were like, nigga, you the artist. Mm -hmm. You write music for this nigga. You know what I'm saying? You the artist, nigga. Just focus on your shit. I'm like, fuck that shit. I don't want to do that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But then once it failed and I see I put like $30,000, I'm like, that 30 could have been behind me. Yeah, yeah. Like, that realization. Put, that realization. If I would have put that 30 ball behind me, yeah. I wouldn't have did my money like that. I would have loved everything I was doing about my hustle. Yeah. So right now, man, I'm just showing niggas that I can redo whatever the fuck I was doing then. Mm -hmm. I can make another song like I made that dumb way shit, and I can make that bitch 10 times better, yeah. and I can go harder, and I'm going to show these lit niggas how the fuck to do this shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's where I'm at with it right now. Man, let's go, man. That, that's uh, uh Happy to hear, man. Yeah, I can't wait for that, man. Cause yeah, man, that yeah, yeah, man. I just can't wait to see what else you got cooking. Um, and I, I know I, I read I read some words that you that you've done work with uh, um, OTB Fast Lane. Is that correct, man? So hold on. Go ahead, go. Ahead. You good? Let me share this live with everybody. Oh yeah, we're going live. I need everybody tuned in while we boom, man, man, and yeah. while I pop my shit. That's my thing, man. So when I get on stage, <clears throat> I like to say everybody say hunch up, generate, ready, pop your shit. All right, so boom. <clears throat> so when I say work with OTV Fast Lane, mm -hmm. let me clarify that because at the end of the day, man, this industry is it's real. You know what I'm saying? And it's always receipts on everything. So when I say that, I mean when I wrote that song Dunway and when my artist did that, I wrote the hook. My my nigga wrote his own verses, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and that was kind of like our first like. How can I say it? Like, nigga. That's a hard motherfucker. We finna put fast lane on that bitch because <laughs> OTB. I was already around. I wasn't. I wasn't with them niggas, mm -hmm. but I was in the, in the same vicinity. Like they was at Focus Studios. That was like they homeless spot. Yeah, and you know what I'm saying. Big Cuz was my nigga. Big Cuz was like they engineer. So I was just always there. Oh, like, oh I, Big Cuz produced. Big Cuz, yeah, that's Big Cuz been my nigga for like damn near dub. You know what I'm saying. And he produces for uh, for OTB. He done a lot of production. He done a lot of work for OTB. Them. He was there in the beginning. Oh man, he, and he's the one that puts the shows on, right? <laughs> yeah, nigga, because oh, because, because 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 came from Chicago, man, and he been here, and that nigga done, that nigga done did this thing. I'm proud of that dude, bro. Yeah, for real. I'm hearing a lot of things about him. Yeah, man, because a great dude, man, for real. Like like he he plaked up all that shit. He ain't forgot where he came from. He mm -hmm. he ain't changed up. He he really one of the realest, genuine, most genuine people I know. That's dope. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of love for the nigga. Like he my brother for real. But anyway, so uh. But when I used to go to the studio, bro, I used to be fucked up. Mm -hmm. Like, like, like the night that I did the dumb way mm -hmm. with Sippy and OTB Fastlane, and that nigga Fastlane shot out fast. That nigga charged me five hundred dollars because <laughs> dog ass had the dog ass was like catching on fire, mm -hmm. and we seen that bitch catching on fire. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, his and, stock uh, kind of went up. It <laughs> went up, but he was still <laughs> like, man, give me five hundred, huh, show. So them niggas didn't even know. Like at this time, this was my most real. This was the most biggest situation that I had kind of been in uh, when I started kind of really putting my mind to it, right? So when right. I pulled up to the studio, I'm thinking, man, let me go get some strippers for these niggas. And I'm just thinking, like, all <laughs> kinds of shit, bro. Like, I promise, bro, I was, like, thinking of some of the weirdest shit. Then I was high as hell. Yeah. I hadn't been asleep in days. I had, like, 10 racks in my pocket, my nigga. Yeah. So I borrowed my boy, I brought, I borrowed my bro, Bull uh, Camaro. Mm -hmm. When I pulled up to the studio, bro, I was full, I was full of that money, bro. <laughs> I, when I pulled up, Fastlane was outside, nigga. I ran out of gas. Them niggas didn't even know I ran out of gas. Oh, when you kind of got lucky. Bro, when I parked that bitch... <laughs> 
When I parked that bitch, bro, yeah. that bitch ran out of gas. Nobody knew. You they just, just played it out, huh? I played it out, hopped out that bitch. You know what I'm talking about? But Damn. anyway, man, so yeah. that day, bro, was the day that we really, I, I got to put Sippy on the feature with Fast Lane. Mm-hmm. And in my mind, I was just like, I know the nigga got it. I know the youngster got it. I know he good. But if I can put him around people that's really doing it, that's really grinding, that that's really moving, that's that's really getting re- real results. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I think that can motivate him. I think it's rub like, off on him. Rub off on him. Kind of like a, a, a young nigga that's playing football or something, a quarterback, mm-hmm. and he go to camp and he with Cam Newton type shit. Mm-hmm. I feel like he was gonna get that that feel. But yeah. it's still on the artist to 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 make you know to, exactly. to to get it going. But it does help. Like it it, it is contagious. Like that uh like that work ethic. That it work, is contagious. It's contagious, bro. So. But that day, man, we went in there and when I saw that's when I said I worked with him because yeah. we went in there, we popped off, man. But I ended up arguing with my fucking video argument for the whole fucking night, bro. I was fucking oh. high as fuck. Oh. I was high as Cooter Brown. Every time I see them niggas, I apologize to them niggas about that, bro, because I feel yeah. like shit. Yeah. And my son was like, Daddy, we need to leave, nigga. You tripping. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But so Yeah, do you still it, do you still fuck with that Molly? I don't fuck with no drugs, my boy. Okay. Y'all been drug free for like two and a half years. Oh, y'all okay. do nothing. I, I barely smoke weed. Weed, weed made me turn into screech. I'll say by the bell. I start digging in my pocket. I get scared of so who? this shit. It made me turn to screech, nigga. I'll screech? say by the bell. Then I turn into a nerd. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I turn into a straight fucking nerd. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> what What is it like? What is it like being on Molly? Because I've never, I've never tried it. But I've, it's like an upper though, right? Yes, yeah, an upper man. <clears throat> and you think you kind of think that. Bitch make you feel like you like you Superman, man. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Bro, like I used to be in the hood, like no lie. Yeah. No lie, man. It's a man. pill, right? I mean, it's a, it's it's so you can you can get it's different forms. Okay. It's like the pill form and then it's like the rock form. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But right now it really ain't too much real Molly going on. It's a lot of bell out that's fucking people up. So anyway. Okay. So anyway, man, I used to go in this I used to go in a store like off Titwell, mm-hmm. 45 and Titwell. You know, if you exit Titwell to make that U turn right, mm-hmm. it's yeah, a Texas yeah, no. it's a Texaco to the right right there, right? Like where all the dope fiends and shit be. Mm-hmm. Nigga, I go in that store at like three or four in the morning with twenty racks on me, sitting at the motherfucking machine, playing the machines like I was King <laughs> Tut, bro. I ain't give a fuck. Yeah. And the whole time she like where you at? Come home. But I ain't even answering the phone no more, bro. Cause I don't even give yeah, a fuck. Yeah. Like, leave me alone. I'm winning. I'm on the machine. I hit the triple sevens. And that, I used to just do that kind of lame shit all the time, bro. So yeah. it was like, if I would have still been getting high, man, I probably wouldn't be here right now. You know what I'm saying? But mm. the Molly, the Molly was a good time, but it was it was it was also an embarrassing time. And I had a heart attack on it. Oh, you know what I'm saying? I okay. got I got a stand in my heart right now because of because of that because, Molly. because of the lifestyle. You know what Damn, I'm saying? You was hitting it hard. Hard ain't the word, nigga. I used to be smoking. Like if I'm sitting here talking to you, yeah. nigga, you would see smoke coming, steam coming off my body. Mm. But only because I feel like I can stay up for like five or six days and get me some money, bro. Mm-hmm. If I can make sixteen, seventeen thousand in two days, I feel like well, nobody fucking with me. Yeah. How long? You know how long would that like? How long would that Molly keep you up? Like what? Like how many like? Days would you Man, be? I'm high power, bro. So I used to buy me zones. Okay. I go give me a 28, give me a whole ounce of that shit. I'm getting high, and everybody I meet gonna get high too. Man, <laughs> I'm getting everybody fucked up. You know Turning what I'm up. saying? But yeah. but at the same time, man, like I said, man, those are some good days. Uh-huh. But man, I wouldn't redo that Molly part. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because it fucked me up. <clears throat> because. When we start building BLE Studios, mm-hmm. we was in the studio consistently every day, man. I kind of slowed down, but I was still getting high. Mm-hmm. And um, then one day, then uh, one day, I kind of like was like like having like some, like felt like my back was like stretching. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. And then my brother in law was there. He was like, "Man, go get that nigga some um, go get that nigga some uh, aspirin or something." Mm-hmm. Got the aspirin. and I felt okay. And then my wife was like, "Man, you need to come home and take your break." Mm-hmm. Been over there at the studio too long, bro. Like I'm like, but we trying to open this bitch. We trying to get this bitch together. We need a foundation, foundation, foundation. Like mm-hmm. when I think of something, nigga, if it's on my mind, I'ma do it. If somebody piss me off, I'ma do it. And, and the studio came from some niggas pissing me off too. Like I'm like, nigga, I'ma go get my own building. I don't need your shit, nigga. Watch. Yeah. And that's and so my mom was like, nigga, paint. We gonna we gonna do this bitch. And I don't paint, bro. Yeah. Do none of that shit. I was in that bitch paint. <laughs> she had to go behind everything I did. Nigga, I had that shit. <laughs> with me and my nigga bull. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But uh, so through the process, bro. So I went home, and I was at the crib, and I I went high for like two days, and I was at the highs, mm-hmm. and um, I was like, um, she cooked lamb, nigga. And we was playing. I never forget. I went ate ate real good because my wife be cooking ass off. So mm-hmm. I I dove in the bed. And when I dove in the bed, I just started feeling that shit. Like, 
the same feeling when I go my back like this. Yeah. And my muscles in my chest was like tightening. I said, baby, something wrong. Something wrong. Man, I went to the hospital, man. I woke up in ICU, nigga. And I was in the hospital for like 64 days. Man. I was spitting up blood, nigga. My, yeah. And that was the, the heart attack? Because I had the heart attack and I had the block artery. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And I was spitting up blood. And my doctor said, man, your kidneys are weak. We can't do nothing for you right now. So I'm like, nigga, what you saying? Fuck that shit, doc. Tell me the truth. Mm -hmm. Derek, you're dying. I'm like, what? Man, bro, so I used to have like 50, 60 people in this hospital room. I swear to God. Yeah. The nurses, this right before COVID. I used to be sitting in that bitch. I'm a big nigga, bro. I'm sitting in that bitch with my house with a guy on on ass side. <laughs> I ain't give a fuck. I'm the half naked and shit. Yeah. But I'm like, I'm crying. Like, so I have my moments while I'm crying, right? Mm -hmm. Then I have my moments while I'm singing songs, like, like songs like that was kind of inspirational, like that I needed to feel, but yeah. like nobody really knew. Nigga, I felt like I was dying, bro. Yeah. Because I couldn't breathe and shit. Like, you know, like, with anything, that's why, like, if you have, like, a heart attack or something wrong, like, um, cardiac, cardiac mm -hmm. shit, they always ask you, do you have shortness of breath? Like, if anything is wrong with your heart, nigga, shortness of breath is one of the main things. Oh, okay. And swelling in your legs and shit like that. Oh, shit. So I didn't have swelling in my legs, but that shortness of breath came, right? And I was telling my baby, I said, baby, I need something. Like, I can barely breathe. Yeah. But this was in the hospital. And I put the fucking mask on and could never could take it off until they gave me my stint. And I'm telling you, I was in that bitch like <sighs> looking like Bane. And I had, help. I had so this shit ain't help with shit, bro. No, it didn't help. I had so many shit connected to me, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so I had this doctor with good teeth, man. You know what I'm saying? Doctor Dave, if you on my live, shout out to you too. That nigga took care of me, man, and got a me. A doctor good. with good teeth? Yeah, I, I used to call a nigga doctor. He has some nice teeth. <laughs> I'm gonna look at my doctor. He got some nice teeth, man. That boy got some nice ass teeth. Where yeah. you got them bitches done at? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But so I had all my I had like three different doctors and I had gave them different little shit I call them. I had a handsome okay. I had an old handsome guy. All the nurses used to love this doctor, bro. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So but that was my kidney doctor, my other doctor. So, so that was that that's that situation there, like was that like the, the breaking point for you? Like, man, I gotta make a change. I had to make a change. I yeah. wouldn't be here. Mm -hmm. And then not not only that, bro. She was at the hospital for sixty some days. She left one day, mm -hmm. and, and 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 I couldn't put her through that again. Yeah, because I know like like if I didn't know, even though I've always known she loved me. Like if I didn't know, I knew then. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But I always knew she loved me. But I'm saying like me, she did not leave, bro. Mm -hmm. She didn't leave one day. Yeah. Then when I'm like, hey, go pay the bills. Like you gotta go pay the bills. She was like, you sure I can't leave you? I don't want anything to happen to you. Yeah. I don't want the doctors to make a mistake. I'm like, go pay the bills. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And my son came from college, so we kind of started rotating. It. But I had, a, I got, not had, I got a hell of a support system. Man, that's that's, that's 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 good to hear. Yeah, that's live, man. Having that, having them people behind you, uh, keep, keeping you going, man, for sure. And uh, Okay, man. So, so that's I guess that's as far as the music. I kind of see where you're coming from on that. Um, what What did you like? What What did you listen to like growing up? <clears throat> J Dog was one of my biggest artists. J Dog, mm -hmm. Tupac, like just that real shit. Scarface, mm -hmm. like bro, I don't understand why I understood so early on what the fuck Scarface was talking about. Mm. Like I knew all this nigga shit. Like just a little <laughs> kid, right? And then on a, and then like like the outlaws, like. Like this one song where they had when they said, these niggas talking about praying, they need to stop, that ain't gonna help. These niggas praying on my block. Like, I understood what that shit mean, bro. Yeah, Cause you I were was, able to relate to I it. I was able to relate to it so early. Like, I seen drive-bys, and he was like, nigga, pray, nigga. That shit ain't gonna help right now. Nigga, these bullets <laughs> flying, bro. You niggas tripping. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I just understood, like, real music early on in my life. And then the music just came natural to me when I started mm -hmm. doing it. Like, I probably, I went outside, did it one time, and I was better than everybody I did it with. Mm. I gotcha. I gotcha. And so and what about nowadays? Like what are you into? Like what are you what, what are you listening to on the regular? Man, I'm listening to baby. I fuck with the baby. Uh who else? The baby, fast lane, Kanye. Um uh, man, I just love the music right now. Like more more importantly, like I mean, I'm enjoying like Mo Three, man. Oh my God, RP Mo, Mo Three, yep. RP Mo, man. Still, I'm still on all J Dow old shit, mm -hmm. old shit slash new shit, cause that nigga shit ain't never, ain't never yeah. got old, bro. Timeless. You feel me? It's timeless. Have you ever met the guy? Who? J Dog. Man, yeah, J Dog, J Dog, J Dog. 
J Dog, my nigga, man. J Dog, yeah. J Dog gave me a pass. So I'm from Greenspoint, right? Mm-hmm. So I was just telling my wife this shit. We was just talking about this shit on the way over here. I'm from Greenspoint. So back in the days, Greenspoint and Acres Home didn't fuck with each other. Oh. But I could never really be in that boat because I was always like Greenspoint, Acres Home. Because when, when, when my mama came home, my mama moved to fucking Willowwood or Heather Glen. So I'm like in the Glen, going to Hoffman Middle School, Acres Home, bro. I'm like... I know all these niggas. So these niggas go to fight and I got to get out the way because yeah. I know all these niggas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but long story short, long story short, man, uh, my brother and J-Dog used to rock real tough back in the gap. Yeah. And uh, we used to have these clubs called the All-Star. Uh, have you heard, you heard of the All-Star before? No, no. It's called the All-Star. It's on 249. And, um, okay. What's that? Aunt? What's that? By, on your daddy's street. 249 in Belmont, North Houston. And then... Down the way on Willow and by Willowwood, it was another thing called the uh, the, um, the ballroom. The ballroom. And then Trey went skating back in the gap too. Mm-hmm. That's when Switch House started freestyling and all this shit with Watts and shit. Okay. Um, whatever, you know what I'm saying? So I used to be like one of the first little niggas from Goodson to pop up to these clubs because nigga, I stayed like 10 minutes away from this bitch. Right. I'm on my bike, I'm walking to that bitch. <laughs> and then my partner, that was my home, one of the niggas I went to school with, Lil Trey, his brother them used to be like the biggest promoters and they was always letting the nigga in for free. Yeah. So I get to that bitch, probably help pick up some shit, help clean up. Garden City come in that bitch first, right? Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? Niggas go to freestyle. And so, again, my nigga, I've been, I'm Green's Point Acres home because I kind of been back and forth in type the middle, shit. Yeah. yeah, so I go to freestyling with them niggas. So, one, one weekend, particularly, at the ballroom, nigga, we rapping and going sitting that bitch rapping, and like, like them, I, I, rem, I, I remember the line I said. I was like, "I'm from the Greens Point, and y'all from the Fofo, right?" And them niggas went to like throwing Fofo on my face, bro, and kind of touched me. And I touched them niggas, and Jada was just like, "Man, leave that little nigga alone, man. That mm-hmm. little nigga in this bitch every weekend by himself. Yeah, leave that nigga alone, man. Do your shit, little niggas." He kind of stood up for you when at I that. was just a little nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. When I always see that nigga, it's just love, man. But mm-hmm. him and my brother was in the mix real tough together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out J-Dog. Yeah, man. Uh, J-Dog's a good dude. I had the pleasure of uh, uh, of interviewing him one time at, at, a, at a show. And like he was like, he he, 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 like, he gets turned. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, he, uh and uh, I interviewed him, and you know he was he was feeling good. You could tell he was he was in the yeah, zone. He was yeah, feeling good, but he was still like just dropping little knowledge and little yeah, gems. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got a lot of respect for J Dog. And then, you know, he he uh, like he he I, I don't know if you would say cosign, but like he uh, like he fucks with this uh, rapper I like, uh, Young Easy. Uh, yeah, a Mexican like, rapper from yeah, oh, North oh, oh, Central. Oh, oh, yeah, it's like brothers. Yeah, <laughs> Young Easy like brothers, nigga. Yeah, so. yeah, we just did a show, Young Easy at uh, what was that? What was that? What, what we just did that show at with uh, Paradise Promotion, Monique? It was at Phoenix, at Phoenix Lounge. Young okay, okay. E- Young Easy had a little, Young Easy had a showcase over there, and everybody was in the building. Man, uh, Seven Ninety was in the building. Um, Young Easy then was in the building. J Dog pushed up to that bitch. It was live. Yeah, it was a dope event, most definitely. And do you do you have any shows coming out? Uh, do you have any upcoming shows that we should know about? Uh, so man, I'm I'm, I'm I got like fifteen shows in South by Southwest. Man, we we pop it off. My knee kind of fucked up right now, so I kind of want to like fall back and just kind of mm-hmm. let my knee heal, man. Because if you know anything about South by, you know it's a lot of walking, bro. Mm-hmm. And I'm trying to put my posters and all my my marketing and shit on every fucking wall, restroom stall. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. I'm trying to get out there and, and grind. But I do got a couple of little shows coming up. Uh, Fireflare Lounge. Um, shout out them, man. You know what I'm saying? And Network Thursdays. Any orders, man? Y'all go to Fireflare Lounge if y'all want to just go through the ring and. And get judged, man. We finna do. Uh, we got some shit coming up with uh, New Music Mondays. We finna lock some shit in on Paradise Promotion too mm. on that. And um, uh, really, I'm just trying to get healthy, bro, right now. Cause I, okay. Cause my leg, my legs just started hurting a couple days ago, and I'm just trying to get healthy because my shit was swole yesterday. Yeah. And I, I'd imagine like performing that's a workout in itself, though, oh, uh, right? For, I mean, for me, it is. They say I move like a little skinny nigga. I'm unfuckwittable for real. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you, man. I got you. Um. Okay, and like, uh, you mentioned uh, like as far as uh, you know, who, who you're listening to now. You mentioned Kanye. Um, have you have you seen his new uh, documentary that just came out on Netflix? I watched it yesterday. How was it? Man, it's dope, man. Um, was it called Gen- 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 Genius? You know what? The the the. The part that was more touching to me again because I lost my mama. Mm-hmm. Okay. Just when he went home and was talking to Dunder, bro, like it was like she was a fan. Mm-hmm. 
my mama was a fan, bro. And like his mama knew all his shit. Mm-hmm. And just like if you if you didn't know Kanye and you just watched that, you will understand that he's not even different, bro. The nigga's still the same. Mm-hmm. And yeah, that, a lot of people are saying that when his mom passed, he, he that's when he started changing. I don't even think he changed, bro. Like he's still yeah. outspoken the same way he's always been. Yeah, like he's he's. Kanye's been saying some of the craziest shit when he first started. They just never believed. You know mm-hmm, what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like it took a, it even took a while for Rock to sign him, but they never believed until they, yeah. they, they believed. I'm not gonna say I agree with everything that he's that he that he's said. Hell, I'm almost but done. but yeah, I mean just the courage that he has and and the uh, uh, yeah man, like it's it's he's one of a kind. Yeah, most definitely. You know, most and definitely. the music. Uh, did you like Donda? Yeah. Yeah, I, I haven't got around to it yet, but but uh, you know they're saying like the production is crazy and yeah. and you know some some and some people even call it trash. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I heard a few people call it trash, man. But man, I just like it because I think that it's 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 real hip hop, and he's unapologetic. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like like we're all not gonna agree with everything that we do. We're not gonna agree with everything that we say. Mm-hmm. But as long as you're true to yourself, and I think he's true to himself. Yeah, and do do you think <clears> him and uh, uh what's her name uh, Kim? Hell no, nah, they ain't getting back together. Getting <laughs> you heard that song that he did with fucking uh, drink, uh, the game? Um, easy. <laughs> They're not getting back together, bro. That shit hung. That shit what, did hung. He, what did he say on there? What did the, what did, the, what the, did the, the Pete game Davidson? say? Oh, the game. What did the game say, bro? Game was like talking about how he was holding Kim around her neck and fucking her and shit. Bro, it's like, nigga, you let this nigga talk about your kid's mama like that? On the song? On the song with him. Oh, I missed it. Oh. That one flew right over me, man. Bro. I've heard I heard the song. The beat was cool. Yeah, but damn, that's for uh, yeah. Yeah, that's something else. Man, cool. I don't know, man. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's cool though, man. One thing Ye always understood, bro, was entertainment. Yeah, he's and and he's I think a, and I think he understood it more when he got with the Kardashian family. So. I mean, it's all politics. Yeah. It's all good. It's <laughs> a part of me good. thinks like they're all cool behind the scenes, on, but you like know, you know the fuck they are, bro. But like, he bought a horse across the street. <laughs> Those niggas cool, bro. That's some player shit right there. Yeah, it is. Right? He said, "What the fuck am I rich for, nigga?" Yeah, yeah I bought a horse across the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out Sippy, man. For Shout sure. out YD the kid too, man, my boy. Yeah, man. Hell yeah, man. Um, Okay, man, and uh, yeah, I got, I got, I got to get around to that, uh, to that, that, that documentary, man. The, uh, the, is it just like one? Is it like a episode, or is it just one? I only seen documentary? one. Okay, I only seen one yesterday because when it went off, it went off, and but I watched the whole thing, man. It was dope. It goes, it was deep, man. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, like because at first I kind of was like, I kind of felt like Kanye was a little over the top, but even back then he was over the top, mm-hmm. and even back then he had some of the same. Some of the same views on hip hop, mm-hmm. and and he always believed in himself. Like, and it kind of it kind of made me. And I was she had me on bed rest yesterday, bro. So mm-hmm. it kind of made me a different artist. Then I was like, so I gotta be outspoken like this. I gotta like, like, like I heard some uh, Miss Megan said, man. She said, uh, what the fuck did Miss Megan say? Mm-hmm. She said you can be humble all you want to and miss a lot of opportunities. So shout out Sauce, man. Sauce, he pops his shit. Yeah, he, he humble, but he pop his shit. He don't give a fuck. He ain't passing no opportunities. Yeah, I passed up a lot of opportunities. I'm not passing them. No more of them bitches. Yeah, yeah. I think there's a, there's a time for everything, right? You know, there's a time to be humble and there's a time to be outspoken and, and pop your shit, man. And pop your shit. Fuck that, man. Pop your shit. Mm-hmm. The world is in a, it's the world is it's under a big, a big ass Michael. Pop your shit. Yeah. Let everybody see. It. And the fact that everyone's doing music now, it's like, yeah, yeah. I think you get it's even you gotta more, stand out. You got to even stand out more. You know what I mean? So. Like you stood out when you was interviewing tonight, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I got a couple of people grab a couple people to grab me and shit, and yeah. you know what I'm saying. But I was like, baby, we got to get that podcast with Jedi. Like we need that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think I I, I liked it that I just and I, and 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 because me and her was talking, we got a show called Flowers. We do. Okay. And um, we give um, and we give um, we give we give people their flowers, sort of say. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. So we gave Big Cuz and we gave um. Uh, happy boots, their flowers. So oh, really? The last mixer, yeah, most definitely. We just gave Bobby Hustle some flowers. What was that like? Like we, you, you giving them their flowers, like for just, for just, for just, for just having an impact. That, that yeah, but I'm talking about like how, how did you give them? Like you just told them, you just like no, we gave them, we give them, we give trophies out. Oh, we give we give awards, we give real oh. like fucking plaques. Wow, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And it's just and it's and it's the first person we gave one to was OTB Fastlane. Wow, that's for, cool. For busting up the city, my boy said he take that bitch everywhere. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But 
And and they tried to they they I think uh, R I P my nigga Rock the shot Rock was like nigga get on the video mm-hmm. like I told Rock that night man it ain't even about it ain't even a, like it's not even about being on a video or like because my grandma always say was doing if if you doing something from your heart mm-hmm. ain't even about shining for it you know what I'm saying so mm-hmm. like I just kind of feel like the way that the the whole OTB fa- OTB uh, team moved mm-hmm. the way that R I P Peanut man the way that everybody was like together mm-hmm. that's how you supposed to move man and they was pushing. And they got they got everything that they were supposed to get then, and they're still getting everything that they're supposed to get now. Yeah, man. yeah, you know man. What I'm they worked their ass off, bro. Yeah, like for real. So that's what we put. We gave we gave, we gave them that award, man, and and it, and, and it meant a lot. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. just to watch just to watch the city be so positive, sauce. We got one for you too, nigga. Just to watch <laughs> the city be so positive, man. Like man, it's. We we doing some shit in the city right now. Yeah, Houston is in a very good place. Yeah, and no, I agree. Yeah, I agree, man. I think I think uh, of course you know we we were, we uh, we we had came in hot you know during the the DJ Screw era you know what I'm saying, and uh, but you know short time after I kind of you know it, we kind of I'm not gonna say we fell off but I feel like we're kind of getting back to where we were. Yeah, man. I think I think I think that I just kind of think that we were doing we we were doing too much. We were doing too much. We were trying to. We were, try- we were we were we were growing together, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Sometimes growing together means growing apart first, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. And um, I just kind of seen like I, I I like how I like how Slim did what he did mm-hmm. because Slim did Slim was like nigga fuck that shit, nigga I'm still big Slim I'm switching highs. Mm-hmm. ESG let's do something, let's do something. We doing dirty third, let's always work, let's work, always working, yeah. and connected with the other side, which that's a, that's what we needed, bro. Like I've always been like a Kiki fan, nigga. I always been like a big hawk chilling with my bro. You already know because I've been chilling, I've been chilling with my bro since '99. Right. So when that shit came out, nigga, I was jamming the shit out that shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's like. All of the beef, I could never be a part of none of it because I was just a hip hop head. Yeah, period. yeah. And that was just history for the city. You know what I'm saying? But, mm-hmm. but I do think we've we've gotten back to the place that we need to get back, hip hop wise. I've been to a lot of. Uh, uh, I've been to. I've been to the mixers, the events, and I ain't seen no bullshit. Mm-hmm. Like I know it's. I know it's bullshit out there, but I haven't seen none lately. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So I, that's why it's I'm all saying. love. It's all love, bro. Yeah, I mean there are definitely those uh, you know negative people. And, and you know that that um, you know they always got something negative to say. You know you got your haters, but fuck them. Yeah, fuck them. Fuck them. <laughs> Let them do them. And, and it's hard to hate when the music is hard. Man, look, if you're trying to be in the limelight, mm-hmm. accept all of that shit. It's coming. It's coming. Yeah. And if you the, the bigger you get, the worse it's gonna get. Yeah. Fuck them. And you you were saying that you used to freestyle, man. You, you still you still with the freestyle? Oh man, I go hard, man. Uh oh, nah, man. You trying to make Uh-oh. me freestyle, bro? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Oh man. What's good, man? I ain't never been put on blast of freestyle. I don't even know if I. Damn, we can, we, got, we can always edit it out. I'm nervous if, and shit, uh, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know Damn, what I'm saying? Man, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me let, see. Let's see. Generator <laughs> baby still got it. Let me see. We're going to rock these intros real quick, man. I'm going to connect. Uh-huh. Any any preference, like as far as uh, beat, beat selection or just, you know, whatever? Oh, man, I don't know, man. Just whatever. I'm going to say, turn it down a little bit. Nah, give me tipping on four foes, man. Oh, you want to take it back. Give me tipping on four foes, man. Damn, I ain't done this in a long time, baby. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get a little warm up in. Let's get a little warm up. Yeah. Yeah. Generator baby in this hoe, the Jedediah podcast. Let's go. Hey, know it. Yeah. Yeah. Generator baby. Tipping on four foes. Pack with four hoes. Hey, blowing on big drove. Hey, riding in big low. I be riding out with no spinning. Diamond T got me grinning. Smash mode with them blues on and them rocks got me winning. Hey, hey. bad bitch on my team. Hey, diamonds all on her necklace. Young and she's reckless. These niggas gotta respect this. Yeah. Big letters, that's all cap. Four foes, that's all cap. Yeah. Niggas talking, I ain't talking no bullshit and I'ma keep a strap. Let's go. Pistol in my back pocket, nigga. Swear to God, I got a rocket, nigga. Mama said you the best, nigga. So God said I can't stop it, nigga. Hunt show, hunt show. Who is that? No Mike Jones, Greenspoint, Listen, Roll. 
Oh, studio wood shit, ay, hey, cause I'm a swear to swear to God, boy, I still got it. That's the people I'm so body. <laughs> Niggas talking, I ain't really tripping. Hunt show, been all about it. Yeah. Shut it down on that podcast. Nigga going hard on glass. 84, get the crawling, nigga, and I'm balling, nigga. I might smash. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey. I told him hey. I got it. My boy. <laughs> he ain't even lost it. I ain't lost it, man. man. I just don't do it like I used to, man. But it's fun, though. Man, off the, off the rip, man. And that's that was, off the dome, man. Off the dome. Yeah. You, you you don't see that no more, man. I don't know why, but like people ain't really freestyling like they were back and in I the had, day. I, I feel good doing that just now. I'm glad you yeah. did that. Yeah, Sway, man. nigga, here I come, Sway. <laughs> he fucked up. <laughs> Shelly, you better tell these folks. Man, I see you, yeah. boy. I see you. So, 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 like, with your with your writing process, man, like, is it is it a uh, like, do you like, do you write or like, is it just something that you like freeze, like, kind of like punching in type shit? Man, so to be honest, mm-hmm. I got my own building, so I can cheat. I can do what the fuck I want to do. Mm-hmm. Like, if I say like, so I have a thing. Like, if I for, if I forget, so my wife told me don't talk too loud. So I'm kind of breathing, trying to calm down, <laughs> so I can't talk too loud. Cause she always right. Yeah, she's my my worst critic. She knows me, so she's yeah. checking me and shit. <clears throat> so uh I can cheat, bro. Like mm-hmm. because like so like when so my engineer name is Mac. Shout out Matt Capone. Follow Matt Capone. Anybody hey, follow Matt Capone. Matt Capone? Okay. producer. And he's my house engineer. Mm-hmm. Okay, so the process, Mac being that bitch, I'll start freestyling. Mac can start cooking up the beat. You know what I'm saying? But then in my mind, I'm like, fuck Mac, hurry up. Cause by the time I like write the hook, cause my hooks are first. Yeah. My hooks is like to me, that's the meat. You know what I'm saying? Like, without the meat, I don't know where to go. I'll be like, let me do my hook first. Yeah. But when I'm doing the hook, I fuck around, I got to repeat that bitch a thousand times. <laughs> I'm like, Mac, come on, nigga, hurry up, nigga, so we can drop this bitch. Mm-hmm. But then once Mac get through cooking, I go in that bitch and I just, I lay my hook down, boom, because I, like, I got to have, I got to have, I got to hear something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then I just go with the, I just go with the, uh, with the verse process, man, and. And it's, it's a Do you beat. usually like like find a hook for you know each beat that that comes your way or like or, or are there times where you got like nah I'm gonna pass on that one hit me with the next hell yeah you talking about the hooks yeah hey, man I come up with some wack shit sometimes yeah. man, I'm <laughs> look bro and you know since I'm a writer and I'm an artist I be thinking that shit live yeah that shit be on that bullshit that shit yeah. trash <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have those people though bro they be like that shit trash and then I know when they think it's trash because that yeah. just make like you gotta man, have that those shit people. trash. Yeah. And I be like, that shit trash. Yeah. And then I'll free some sh- freestyle some shit. They be live. And I be like, they be like, that's it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I be thinking everything I be doing, don't fuck them. You know what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, nah, no, nah, but this For I feel real. like it's important to have those people. Like it is. how many how many people are out there, you know, with yes men, like, man, that's just that's fire. Yeah, we don't want them at be And then they put their music out and then they wonder why people ain't feeling it. Like you yeah. gotta have a you gotta have like uh, you know, and you gotta be able to accept criticism. Most definitely. At the same time. And you got to watch the people that's moving for real. Mm-hmm. Like, shout out 1501. Shout out Sauce. Them, like, they moving. Like, when we step out in these clubs now, like, we got, like, at first, like, when I was, when I was, when I was in the past, like, every time we record a song, we think that's the fucking song. No, nigga, you got to get you a single and you got to pump that bitch and you got to mm-hmm. step behind it. Even if it means going to six, seven different clubs at night just doing one song, bro. Mm-hmm. Just let everybody catch on to that song. Just stand mm-hmm. behind something, believe in that bitch. And that bitch going to take off. So mm-hmm. we just watched 1501, bro. We've been watching Rap A Lot. Rap A Lot's are like, man, Rap A Lot's are the forefathers of this, of this music shit oh, in yeah. our city, man. Shout out Big J. Shout out Junior. Shout out, shout out all them niggas. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because... Um, BLE is definitely learning from all of that shit. We're studying you guys. Man, we love you niggas for mm-hmm, real. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, they kind of really laid the foundation. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? In Houston. Yeah, uh, yeah, because they, they were, uh, you know, with the ghetto boys and all that. Come man, on, man. That's, man, that's history. That's history. Man. I told you I understood that shit. I was standing offline pointing up, bro, when mind playing tricks on me came out, bro. I was really snatching little kid shit, and I was a little kid myself. <laughs> I was Where'd snatching it go? How'd it go? This year, Halloween fell on a weekend. <laughs> ghetto boys are trick or treating. Robbing little, little kids, kids for bags. bags. And then the law man got behind our <laughs> ass. You know what I'm saying? We was really in the mix, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that Bushwick. That Bushwick line right there. Week, yeah. bro, bro, we used to throw rocks at cars. Hold on, let me tell you a quick story. So, okay. we stayed at Harrison Place, right? Mm-hmm. That's by that's that's so it's all good and really right there by the townhouses. You know what I'm saying? And we our neighborhood store is called Kelly Store. Mm-hmm. Like T, where they like fast lane. We talking about Metro Mall. We got Kelly Food Store. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Nigga, I was buying lottery tickets at like five fucking years old, six buying lottery tickets to go get my grandma her Winston's or Coos's, whatever. You know what, mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But anyway, when that song came out, bro. 
My grandmother let us fucking with the VH camera with the little you put the big tape in that bitch. Yeah. We shot that fucking video like we recreated in an hour way. Really? It was like twelve deep nigga. I was what like, was like cause cause I always wonder like, man, cause like cause you know, I was born in ninety seven. Uh-huh. I was just a kid when that when you know, you know, I was probably was like when did that song come out? But um I wanna say right before I was born. But was it nine eighty something? Man, I don't know. Let me look, look it, up. it up, bro. Look, I think that bitch came out like 89, 88. Like, hell, you in the 80s. Yeah, it was It was uh, probably late probably, probably late 80s. I it think was it on was, We Can't Be Stopped? I think so. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, let me see. Let me see. So that came out. 88. Uh, 90, 1991. 91, okay. Yeah, yeah and it, my, mine playing tricks on me was on there. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so I wasn't even born yet, dude. But but you know, growing up in school, and you know, like you know, doing your research, like on the on the Houston music scene and the people that came in before us, and and you know, you hear those kind of songs that the tip and all fofos. Yeah. I always wonder, like, what was going on around the time? What was the like the the reaction like? You know, and, and as someone who grew up in that time and that remembers, like, oh, it went, like exactly when they dropped it, like, what what were what was it like? You know, what I'm saying in Houston when when those kind of songs dropped. Man, it was crazy, bro, because, man, I'm from Greens Point, bro. I was from the, <laughs> I'm Fifth Ward, boy, from the uh, bloody nickel. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. fucked up. I was from Fifth Ward, like, motherfucker. When that song came, I'm just saying, like, the music made you feel like, like that rap a lot shit, mm-hmm. man. I think everybody from niggas, niggas we think we from Fifth Ward like a motherfucker, yeah. man. You know so, what I'm saying? So it popped, like, once it dropped, like, or did it take a time for people to. Oh, no, never. No, yeah. not, 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 not the Ghetto Boys, not Face, yeah. not Big Mike. You know what I'm saying? Not, not none of that shit. When, yeah. it's, when it dropped, it dropped, man. You it know what I'm saying? And, and Jaden was moving like they, like they say they was moving, man. Jay always been a good businessman, man. Yeah. Like a, and man, that shit crazy, man. Just to watch the Fifth Ward Boys, bro, mm-hmm. like. Man, that's the kind of shit I want to be on with this BLE shit, man. Yeah, yeah. I want to have a bunch of young niggas out here in the mix. We had every club. We rocking this bitch. You're going to hear about mm-hmm. so many niggas from Black Label Embassy type shit. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And let's talk about the sound. Like, 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 what can people expect in terms of musical style when they, when they, uh, you know, when they tune into you? Uh, like, is it like a Houston sound or? It's, or? it's, it's, we, 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 more, we, we A sound, but we more so universal. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, so. What I don't want to be known for, man, is is, is, is is shooting and all this shit, man. Okay. Man, we ain't doing none of this shit, man. I got kids. I got a wife. Now I'm trying to go home at night. I'm yeah. Pop. I'm not jumping out of no broad motherfucking daylight, running down the street playing GTA with nobody. This is real. And I don't want to go sit to the penitentiary. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So as far as like with my young niggas that I got around me, I do want everybody to always tell their story. Mm-hmm. But I also want a nigga to tell the back end of their story. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. What can happen? Because... A lot of these niggas catching these murder cases and they're jumping out broad daylight, while they sitting in that can, they regret that shit. Yeah. You know, so I just kind of want to be like one of the big homies, like to kind of, that's why I'm active right now. Like, mm-hmm. that was one of the reasons that I got active. Like, really, I want to kind of help some of these young niggas, be in the mix with them, but like, nigga, to show them that you can't own a studio, you can't go from trapping to this shit. Because mm-hmm. I went from trapping to this shit. Mm-hmm. When niggas come and be at these studios, they be like, nigga, that's y'all. Nigga, mm-hmm. that's us. Mm-hmm. Nigga, that's us. And we, we was, I was on drugs building this bitch. Yeah. I was hustling building this bitch. And we don't fuck with none of that shit. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Our studio make money, our studio power rent at the crib. I mean, our mortgage, we, we grinding. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So we don't want to be on that. We ain't try, we, we ain't doing that GTA. We ain't jumping out, popping niggas and all of this shit. That's that's because we got something we do called stop the violence. There's a better way. We lost so many people, so many peers that we know. You know what I'm saying? Right. So my mom and daddy got robbed. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. it's kind of like we just wanna we wanna tell the, the 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 real story. Like, hey, nigga, look, I hear you. But this what it is, man, for real. Yeah. Because if we don't get it right, we're gonna be there or there. And if you, if like right now, right now, my brother got a, they got a, a, a food truck park, an Agus Home food truck park. Mm-hmm. Um, they got a trucking company called Bulldozer Logistics. Long story short, it's right across the street from Garden City. If you over there on a Saturday, bro, a Friday, a Saturday, a Sunday, you know how many fucking funerals we see? Damn. Mm-hmm. Like we see at least twenty funerals all day, bro. Mm-hmm. That's not what I want to like. I don't want to promote that shit with my team. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to promote that shit with, with my kids. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This music is, it shouldn't be a contact sport, bro. It's supposed to be fun. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's deeper than music. I, I wonder if if like the artists that do put out that kind of music and teach his own, but I wonder Most if definitely. they I wonder if they if they realize that like yo this is 
going like the, like the shit that we're saying is it's like you know it's kind of manifesting. It is manifesting. You know what I'm bro. saying to reality and shit. So I had I had I had one of my partners from Louisiana. He's been in contact with some di- with some with some labels. Mm-hmm. The labels are even trying to get niggas to get away from the gangster role. The labels, bro. Are they? Cause like that's what sells though. Bro, that's that's that's. But they're telling. And I think that's. I think that also says something about us, like the consumers. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. It's like the fact that that we're that, you know, we're entertained by that kind of shit. We and are. I ain't gonna lie, it's hard, bro. We I, and I ain't even gonna cap. Like I was just on some NBA Young Boy. Like man, I, that nigga boy, hard. I was. That little nigga is hard, man. But shit. And I don't know what it is about it. It's just like I guess it's just I guess there's a fascination for that for that gangster life. You know what I'm man, saying? It, it 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 is, bro. Because when I hear it, even with me, it's relatable. Mm-hmm. You know, I just went through some shit yesterday. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like it's relatable. It's not. They ain't lying, bro. Yeah. Like like. When me and her go to the store, mm-hmm. we really got them bangers on us, bro. Like, yeah, I'm, we we got we ride swingers and shit. Yeah. So to someone like you, it's you, you know, I guess yeah, you you find it relatable. But like to the majority of people, I wonder if it's like, I mean, it's, I don't I don't think it's it's like in you know the same case where it's like relatable to you to them because like the but the majority of of people that that that, that fuck with it, like I don't think they had they've had to go through anything like Damn. that, you know. But it's just like it's just but they still but they're still into it. So my 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 question is like, what what is it about you know uh, that gangster shit and that, that drill music that people you know enjoy? I don't it's know. Just, it's just it's just a fascination, man. Like yeah. you know, like you know, when I was in school, I had all the hoes because I was a bad dude. You know what I'm saying? Right. I had all the hoes because of that. Yeah. If I was one of the good niggas, I probably wouldn't have had all them hoes. Like yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was running around. They was like, man, Derek, look at Derek. He bad. <laughs> he beating on the fucking lockers and shit. Yeah. Just people are just uh, uh, they just attracted to that. People them. people love a villain, I guess. They like that shit, man. Yeah. Come on, man. Every motherfucking movie got a villain, man. Yeah. They love that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I mean, and and and, it, and it, it it comes with it. I don't think it's nothing wrong with it. I just think we gotta tell we gotta tell the split side. Mm. We gotta be honest. Like like like, let's not go to jail if we do get jammed up with our lifestyle because some of us are some of us are forced into this shit. Some of yeah. us really gotta live like this. Some yeah. of us don't know how we are gonna pay. We stayed our first apartment was 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 our our second apartment was Copper Tree mm-hmm. one four one five West Golf Bank with me and her. And we I couldn't I couldn't be on her fucking lease. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I I I had, if I could if I would have got caught outside, they would have got me for trespassing, bro. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So the system is created to separate. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's created to separate and then some of these females get caught up in that shit and then these niggas we all we all we coming from different places now. You got every every neighborhood over here, you know what I'm saying? Niggas plexing, niggas shooting each other, niggas but the 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 upside is like for me and her what we would say is mm-hmm. It's fine to, to be in this low come area where it's going down it, but go to school, mm-hmm. right? Go get a job. Don't quit your job because now they're taking your rent was like sixteen mm-hmm. dollars. Don't quit your job because your shit a hundred dollars. Work. It's fine that your rent is a hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. You you're gonna have to pay your way if you if you have plans on on living a better life. You're gonna have to pay anyway. So mm-hmm. go to school. Use all of this free government shit you can mm-hmm. until you get to where you really want to be. Yeah, I think I think make a. Uh, Creating a plan, making a plan Make for a yourself, plan. and that's I don't know like if, if how hard they push that in school, but I feel like they don't push that shit hard, bro. You know what I mean? Like like, that and that's hard. that's what kind of got me like to to like just start thinking about shit, like because I was the same way, man. Like I, I you know growing up, uh, you know I was just always into trouble, and I I knew I had you know I I you know I I could do more with myself. But I just didn't know how. Like, I just had so much going on. But it, it wasn't until, like, I just, like, kind of sat down and, like, started making a plan. Uh, you know, like, man, you know, this is what I want to do this year. So how am I going to do it? I got to save some money. So boom, let me get a job to, to save up for that. And just, yeah, just create having a plan. Uh, I feel like that's very important, too. You know you know what I'm saying? So Did you, ha- did, yeah. did, did you have anybody in your ear telling you that? This is my water? Oh uh, yeah, that's you. That's you. Did you have anybody telling you that? Ah, not really, man. Like, and you what? Nobody telling you that? Nah, no. man. Nah, like, it, I think it's something that that we we need to like, you know, let these the youth know, like, you know, you make a plan, like, you know, like the, what do they call it? That five year plan. The five year plan. Yeah, I mean that's important. You know that's what I'm saying? So the, the 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 program that we do to stop the violence, there's a better way. Mm-hmm. We have colleges out there. We have different organizations out mm-hmm. there. 
the mayor, um, the, the just, just everybody, man. It's crazy that we connected with so many people when we first started doing that was because a lot of people that we knew got murdered in one weekend. Mm. We were in church on a Sunday. We went and got bouncers, guys to do free haircuts and shit. Mm-hmm. And I remember Tupac saying, nigga, I'm going to go to all the gangsters, all the thugs, and I'm going to tell them niggas we're going to stop all the violence and shit. And I was like, baby, we going to do this shit today. Mm-hmm. We left from church. My mom was standing in the We left straight from church. No lie, bro. I can't lie to you. Mm-hmm. I'm, I, I got to tell you the truth. I had like a half an ounce of bullshit molly. It was like trash. <laughs> so I knew this shit was trash, but I'm like, I'm going to get these niggas high. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, look, bro, I'm talking to the nigga, man. We finna go over here. We going we gonna to bring the, the jumping jacks and shit out today, bro. And we had big green signs that said, stop the violence. There's a better way, right? Right. It's nobody outside but all of the niggas that had got shy niggas on crutches and shit mm-hmm. in carpentry, bro. And I'm talking to all these niggas. I say, man, we just need one day, bro. Mm-hmm. Please. I'm talking to you, to the goons. Niggas like, can I cut hair, nigga? I'm like, you can do what you want to do. Mm-hmm. Hey, my bitch, Bray, go get your bitch. Hey, woo, woo. Say, can I cook the hot dogs, nigga? Long as you don't burn them. <laughs> we had everybody in the apartments. No lie, nigga. Yeah. It was a Sunday. We had over 250 people turned out. Yeah. Niggas still talk about that shit to this day. Yeah. But when we did that, bro, and we ended up burning them motherfucking hot dogs. That day. <laughs> <laughs> but we did that shit, though. We've been doing that shit ever since. Yeah. And it's only getting bigger. You know it's what like I'm saying? It's like an annual type dip thing? It's or? annual. We're getting, okay. ready. we're getting ready for the next one. Nice. We're going we're gonna to do the next one on West Montgomery at the uh, food truck park. Send me an invite, you know man. Saying? We'll pull up. And if you want to come talk and if you know people that yeah. like want to come tell their story that's been through the violence and shit, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Man, it's going down, man. But we, we love giving back. Oh, we just had um we just had Christmas on Goodson. Yeah, okay. I'm, yeah, I'm, the, I'm the first motherfucking rapper that had Christmas in my neighborhood. <laughs> Fuck that time, <laughs> Okay, for sure, man. Um, man, uh, any anything else you wanna you wanna put out there to the people before we wrap up? Uh, man, not really, man. I think we okay. co- we, we covered enough, man. I appreciate yeah. you for for having me on your platform. Man. Yeah, man. No, most definitely, we'll have to have you back on for sure. Uh, it's like when that you know when that tape when you get that tape going. Most definitely. Uh, um, <clears throat> where can people find you on the social media? Man, you can find me at uh, BLE underscore Studios. That's my business page. That's the studio page. Mm-hmm. BLE underscore Black Label Embassy Entertainment. That's the label page. And BLE underscore Generator Baby One. That's my page. Already. And uh, BLE underscore Miss Nikki. Mrs. Underscore Nikki MRS Cause she is married mm-hmm. And she is carried <laughs> And she fucking <laughs> <laughs> For sure Yeah well, well we appreciate you guys And uh, we also wanna We wanna thank everybody For tuning in to another Great episode of the Jedediah Podcast yeah. Y'all make sure to hit that Subscribe for more And stay tuned for the next Peace Yeah I gave it everything I had dog hey, On my dad dog I'ma snatch a bag dog Ripped up a tune With a squad and a flag dog Trapper still chopping down a tan wall. I'm known in the city for my hard work. Look at me, I can show you how I crown work. Blow my wrist till my watch finally drown first. For whatever stop, you'll be in the ground first. Huh. If you don't want it, then get back in line. I don't know how you do dope, but I pay.